bookmarks. Um, those are mushroom containers, those blue containers, by the way. They're good for images, so I've been using them to put my people in and my people and my body parts been going in there. Uh, so I made these bookmarks that you see here out of painty papers that I glued to paint swatches. So I take one painty paper, I glue a bunch of paint swatches to the paper, and then, you know, you cut out five or six bookmarks at a time. Some of the paint swatches I cut down. So I have three different sizes. And um, I'm really, I really get into gluing and I don't videotape all of it. I just videotape some of the, um, I'm sorry, do we use the term videotape anymore? Shouldn't I say record? I did not record all of the gluing of the images because it was very sporadic when I got a chance to sit in there and record gluing. But you get a good enough idea and uh, you know, a, half, a good half to two thirds of this video is me gluing and embellishing these bookmarks. Um, so what are these bookmarks for you ask and why do you have 47 billion? Well, I will tell you why. I am going to put them in my Etsy orders. Um, when somebody puts in an order, every once in a while, I like to do something, whether it be a little notepad that I make out of a handful of paper or something like a bookmark. Um, I've given, you know, random paper bits and I don't give things all the time. It's not what I do, but once in a while, I like to throw things in my packages. So that's what this is all for so that I can have some bookmarks to share and I made quite a few so I'll have quite a few to share for a good long while <clears throat> the picture at the bottom of that one is from a 1970s magazine 1980s I think rather that's an 80s ish bridge but yeah it came from a refrigerator ad out of a National Geographic so if you order my National Geographic pages and you say, oh, there's nothing on them, make sure you check the ads. Because I know every pack of National Geographic pages I sell has ads in them. Um, speaking of National Geographic, I am thinking about doing a challenge with my own National Geographic page packs and seeing how many collages I can make out of a 50 page pack so that I have something to share that could be a little inspiring. That was eye pencil, by the way, that I just put on there. Um, something that I could share that would help inspire people who purchase from me. Um, you know, and uh, then you can see that there is a use for all of the things. So maybe that'll be the next project especially since I am cleaning my desk up right now from another project, uh, my, my junk tilde project. Uh, so I have all these little quotes and the, it's time consuming. And the, one of the reasons why I switched this to a voiceover, because it takes me a long time to look at through the words. And, um, the reason for that is because I forget what I have in there. If I'm using the words on the regular, then I'm like, oh, I remember I saw that quote or, oh, I remember this, but no, that's not how it went down. So I forgot all the things in there, um, you know, but that is a bird with a little hat and it says on it, avian flashers. I don't know why. I don't know what an avian flasher is, but that bird is avian, avian-ish. So yeah. Um, you know, and then I just embellish the little hat with some Sharpies and make it look hattier. I'm really happy how, the, how this came out. Because more often than not, I make a hat for something and I feel like it looks off. But, um, yeah, so this bear to me is creepy. I don't know why. It's just a creepy looking bear. So put him on a bookmark because he's probably not creepy to some normal person. Making the bookmarks is, is a lot of fun though.
because you just do small bits and like with me I, I didn't do all of them at once I, I spread it out over a period of time so yeah that bears a scoundrel I believe it and I put a whole bunch of images right there on my desk to use and you know that's kind of a mess too so I think at one point I I might not film it but I go through and I get rid of some of the pictures that I know I can't use whether they're too big or they're just you know something I had planned for another project or something that just wasn't really fitting which I don't know what isn't fitting for a bookmark everything is fitting but I, I do know there were some that I really didn't want to use on a bookmark and you know that's rare I don't have a lot of images that I am not willing to use right then and there so I must have an idea for them I must have another project for them um, so yeah some of these too like you know when you get home magazines and stuff always look at the things in the pictures of people's homes because those were those might have come from like a designing magazine and it might have been part of an ad but I am always cutting out little statues or, or um, pictures hanging on people's walls in magazine pictures so yeah definitely keep your eye completely open that's why I go through the same magazine two or three times most of the time because I always miss stuff the first time you know and sometimes like I, I go through them numerous times there's some magazines that I still have even after I've harvested them a few times because I know there will be more or I worry that I'm gonna miss something awesome if I've already gotten a lot of awesome content from that magazine and I love my eye pencil for shading and shadowing and I do have to go and touch up glue around the edges of some things which at the end of this year we're gonna try laminating at the end of this I am going to show you the poor man's laminating um, method that I used for many years of my life even though I have a laminator I didn't have a laminator for a very long time and I don't always use my laminator I think every dog should have a pot hat on right look at that with the big pot handle sticking out yeah I, I do like how this guy came out when I look at it I when I look at it from here though I should have put it the first way I had it with it tucked under the other ear because it doesn't look as good this way it's so weird the things you notice after you make them that um, you, when you see from a distance you're like oh you know what because there are times that I put two things together and I look and I'm like this is supposed to look different but it looks wrong to me so yeah it happens and I think it happens to a lot of people I don't think I'm the only one um, I blacken these because that came from an ad you can see the the glasses uh, you know stems what do they call those the arms of your glasses the little leggies um, and so he's wearing sunglasses instead and I think those words say danger in disguise because I put a bunch of things together that don't make sense the reason why I do that is because I want everything to be up for interpretation to whoever receives the item so danger in disguise might mean something to me and it might mean something totally different to you right mm -hmm. this grape soda bottle cap came from um, a book I think of uh, full of soda and greeting card memorabilia okay collect it's a collector's book so I fussy cut all the pictures that are in it and um, I think a lot of it was I there were some bottle caps too that I saved from myself and this girl she just got caught she just got caught with the bacon y'all she got caught with the bacon as I watch this I might have to zoom it in some because it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing kind of hard to see the smaller scale stuff But yeah, see, it takes me a long time to go through. Oh, not that time. I guess proof was right on top. I see proof. 
that you stole the bacon. Dun dun dun. And I still haven't cleaned off my desk from that. You know, all those lines. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that and I haven't cleaned it yet. So I'm going to have to get on it and clean that up. And again, shadowing around the edges. Live your dream. How perfect is that for a bookmark? Live your dream. So these are on, I don't know what you call them, serendipity papers, or you could be considered a master board. Um, it is a bunch of textured images that I cut into strips and squares and everything I cut or ripped on it was at right angles. There's no random pieces or, um, you know, little scrappy bits. They are all, they're all squared in some way. So, um, oh my goodness, my phone, it just keeps ringing and ringing. And when the phone rings, it's never for me. It is always for my husband <laughs> because I don't give people my house number. Um, Except doctor's offices, I think. I think doctor's offices would rather call your house. I mean, I swear, because I've told them a, new, a number of times that my cell phone's my primary phone, but they still call the house for some reason. Um, but I don't use the house phone. I don't use the house phone much. Uh, unless I have to make a call out. Sometimes it's hard on my cell phone. But anyway, that's a bunch of information that you don't care about, so... Um, yeah, back to the, back to the beautiful random ass collages I'm making out of this giant selection of images, which isn't even, that doesn't even like, it's not even the tip of the iceberg of images that I have. And I just cleaned out two binders full of pictures that need to be fussy cut from magazines and catalogs. And it makes me want to cry. But I can't cry. Got to pull up my big girl panties and get them cut. But it's like, you know, it's overwhelming, I think, to have so many images. And I think that a lot of the collage work that I'm going to do, because I've got some collage ideas that I want to start working on. And um, the... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like five pictures from each portion of my images, not five of every single size. Cause I got them, you know, sized pretty close, you know, probably six or seven different categories, but I'll make sure I have a background of some sort, um, background ish type thing and large images medium images and small images and maybe I'll do five in each of those categories and then I will see what I could put together with those because it's really overwhelming if I'm looking through something to try and figure out what to do with it unless I have an idea in mind and I my brain don't work that way I don't get ideas okay I don't foresee things except when I'm cutting it out uh, when I'm fussy cutting the picture I can see it in a whole bunch of different scenes but I see every picture. I look at every quote. I look at every background and put in what I see, you know, in my brain. And then it's gone as soon as I move on to the next picture. So, yeah, that's how my brain works. I stay motivated to fussy cut by getting inspired by the images themselves and then saying, oh, you know, well, I could do this and this. And then by the time I'm done cutting, I say, well, I'll figure something good out when it gets to that point. And then I forget. Does anybody else do that? Does anyone else's brain do that with images? So I'm just going to take, you know, because I got a whole bunch of those pictures that we sorted that are background. You know, I consider them to be like background, um, scenic type situations, I guess. And um, I'm just going to take like five of those and piece together some kind of thing, you know. Um, this is good. You know, I like these big letters. I like to do stuff like this on it. I like to cut up quotes and disperse the quotes throughout the bookmark. And again, it's because of the joy of making small art. It's not intimidating. It's small and you can 
Um, you know, you could do it up however you want and it doesn't require a ton of intense thought. Uh, my snarky bookmarkies, which by the stinking way, I just found two more snarky bookmarkies that I never listed in my store. Um, I think I have a few left too, but the listing may have expired. But yeah, I just found two that I didn't know I had. But I'm kind of excited to do the National Geographic Challenge and take one of my packs of 50 and go through it. There are a few things from National Geographic's magazines that I don't share. It is, um, you know, sickness or injury, um, war, time, and famine. Those are, uh, you know, I don't, I don't share that kind of stuff. I don't share the dead pictures. I don't share death. Um, you know, but like there's some naked people and I, I put all that in because people do different things with different pieces of art. But I don't put gruesome. I don't do depressing or gruesome. Art isn't depressing or gruesome. And I don't want someone to look through my pages and get depressed because of some pictures. And some of the content in those magazines is very, very depressing. Um, so again, there I am sifting through words, unsure of anything. And I got a ton of words too that I have to, um, that I have still have to cut up and stuff, you know, cause a lot of these I've cut already. Um, yeah, but I love doors and windows and I want to do more door and window things. Uh, and that, you know, was really cool. Um, so I do, I still have a lot of words, um, to cut up. And I, I do really like to cut them down to fit the project, you know, s split up the words and whatnot so that, you know, it suits the project at that time. Just like fussy cutting, you know, I fussy cut images and then I will cut them down further. Some images I don't even cut all the way. I'll leave like a background or something or a, a part of a room if there's a person standing because I can just see something happening with it and I don't want to eliminate all my options because maybe I'll see that thing when I use that image. So again, it comes down to the things I see and the things I remember are two different things. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone. Please tell me I'm not alone. Um, but yeah, these dolphin and whale pictures I have really work out perfectly on these serendipity style papers because, um, you know, the papers are busy already, so I don't want to add a ton of small images. But if I put one whale coming up out of the, you know, bottom of a bookmark, it's hilarious, hilarious. So, yeah, I, 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 that, I cut things like that. You know, I cut out that tail. It was a whale butt, you know. And some of these, some of these whale images just didn't, didn't work on them. But I used a lot of the whale images uh, whether you see them on here or whether it's when I did them off camera, I, I did do a lot of, um, you know, whale bookmarks. And then here I am separating those so that I can have them when I get to these style bookmarks that w that are busy. You know, so like this one doesn't have a lot of white. I was looking at the, how the white looked. The Tabasco sauce, too, is just one big thing generally one color so you know it doesn't um, blend in or make it look too insane it's a giant tabasco sauce okay tick tick boom which is like perfect you know once in a while you get those quotes that are just perfect and tabasco sauce i don't know what it does to your guts but tick tick boom for my guts and of course i love flowers i love fussy cutting flowers i love the looks of fussy cut flowers on any project uh, I just love flowers. Can you tell? Can you tell I love flowers? Um, have I made that point? Have I made that point clear? And this peacock, I think, is like a brooch from, you know, Vogue or one of those fashion magazines. And I'll bet you that thing's like 45 million bucks. No one knows, you know, only 3,500. Oh, wow. That's it? Only 3,500? That's like, you know, some people's monthly income. That's more than some people's monthly income. Um, you know, buy a lot. 
I like the wind, the doors, but I had other plans when I saw it. I had other plans for the doors. Uh, but I love doors and windows, and I love using them, and I, you know, have big ideas for a lot of door and window pictures. But that squirrel there, that's that's an awesome squirrel. And the picture that those doors come from there are from books. And I think the blue one comes from a dream dictionary. You want to talk about cool images. Dream dictionaries, I don't know why, have amazing images. And I am almost out of the images that I bought, uh, that I cut out of the dictionary, uh, I don't know, six years ago. Um, I have some of those images in with my Halloween stuff because it's like, you know, devil and orange colored or whatever. So I put that with my Halloween stuff. But I'm only, I'm running low on the images that are in my regular stash. So, yeah. Uh, dream dictionaries. Always pick them up when you're at the thrift stores and see and look at the images. Because this one was like, um, you know, it was like one of those gimmicky uh novelty kind of dream dictionaries uh, resembled like a National Geographic book one of their books about different places of the world or weather or whatever it's a book like that but it was small it was a pocket dictionary and the images in it were just and it was newer you know within the last 20 years so the images in it were just crisp and sharp and new they were new they were great quality pictures great quality illustrations. The colors were nice and saturated. The pages were like a semi-gloss, but I don't care when I'm gluing because what are magazine pages? They are mostly glossy. Um, and if I'm using it in ephemera pieces that I need to look old, um, I just don't let it bother me much or I ink it, which makes it look kind of old. Um, I was doing this one as a nail polish pay bookmark. I am aware that it's, um, you know, a little busy and it's a little blendy looking, but I kind of like it. Once I put the third one on it, it I think it kind of ties the three images together. Um, and then I love how this one, I love this little bookmark. I, just that, the way that flower just fits on there, you know, and that's adorable dish. Like, I love that dish. It looks so, the dish looks so old and it has like holes, you know, around the rim and I have a piece of pottery outside that looks like similar, you know, not, it's in the white and blue colors, but um, I find a lot of pottery, I call it pottery, but you know, it's like modern day ceramics within the last 200 years. Um, so it's, you know, not ancient pottery, but I, I call it pottery. And we have, a, we find a lot of that. We have a ton of glass bottles and jars out back. This was a, you know, it was a dump and I think that it got to a point where most of the yard became a dump because my whole yard, people, when I say my whole yard, I mean every square inch, some kind of trash has heaved its way out of my, of my grounds or my husband digs it up with his backhoe because he has a backhoe, like a real one. Oh, they're flipping through those real quick. See, there they are. Da, da, da. we did so much fun things all right so this is something i used to do a lot when i was a teenager for projects for myself oh i'm sorry i'm tired i had one kid up most of the night so i'm tired um i used to laminate with packing tape. Now I am going to try and edit the sound out of this horrific machine and I'll show you real quick the bookmarks. I'm not going to do all of them on camera. Um, some I put collage stuff on, some I did not, some I put one thing on. So it's just a big mish mash of whatever on paint swatches. So all of these are paint swatches. So let's take this doggy here, Danger in Disguise. Okay. Close your ears. Now I might have to do this in two pieces. I used to laminate what I 
Oh, look at I'm gonna ruin it. I used to laminate journal covers. Okay, is what I used to do this way, which was like composition books or whatever. See, I'm not centered. And my tape's dirty from whatever the hell just happened. All right, take two. See, because it's hard when you're trying to do it well in the paper off of it, so. Okay, try that, maybe. Maybe not, I have no idea, let's see. Man, I really recommend a lint roller for your desk, y'all. Okay, we're just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna have to put my big head in the way, I think, for a minute. Because I wanna line this up. See, I'm gonna have to do two slices of paper here. Okay, because it's just a little bit, uh, just a little bit too narrow the tape for the paint swatches my skinny ones it will probably be all right but for these ones these these wider ones it is a wee bit too narrow uh, let's go ahead and put that down like so and oh see I get a wrinkle get a wrinkle I have a laminator I can not all of us have a laminator, okay? And I would not have a laminator if it was not a sale item many years ago from Staples. Uh, I worked at Staples for about 15 minutes. Uh, not for Staples. Uh, there was a Verizon cell phone uh, retailer inside of Staples. See, so that could work. We could work this with a little finesse. So I worked at the Verizon booth. Uh, it wasn't just Verizon there either. It was T-Mobile and AT&T and Verizon. I don't think Sprint though. I, I don't think it had Sprint but it had the rest of them. So um, I used to get all of their deals, you know, whenever Staples would have one of their weird sales, like, you know, fill a bucket and get 20% off whatever's inside. Eminator was a, a Black Friday deal that I got. And the Laminator was a Black Friday deal. It came with, 40 sheets or something with it, 30 or 40 sheets, a couple different packs, because it's supposed to be like a cold laminator and a hot laminator. I've never done the cold setting on it, but, you know, it does cold, I guess. So, um, then it had, they had, you know, a while later, they had laminating sheets on clearance. So, I have a good collection of laminating sheets and I haven't used so you know that is an option that is an option if you have a laminator now another thing you can do after this is take something to really get that tape um, you know as burnished as you can a glue bottle might work better. Um, you know, something, something else. Now these, I should be able to just, I should be able to just go like a Z's. Yep. Push that down good. And then do a foldy. Now, another reason why I'm doing it this way, too, is, um, you know, in case a corner comes up or an edge comes up, I like to make sure that it is good and glued down. So this one here, I am going to cut it. OK, 
Okay, because I'm going to glue this back. You don't, I guess I don't even have to really, but I, like I said, I don't want an edge to pop up. Now, what the hell are these bookmarks for? You're asking, like, why do you have 4,000 bookmarks? Every once in a while, I like to do something for my Etsy customers. So if you ordered something from me in the past, you might have gotten notepads. I had given away little notepads that I made. Or you might have gotten um, a little stack of post-its. And I have more of those I can give, too, because it came with that crafty stuff. And I'm not going to use that many post-its or you know they're decorative fancy ones I'll use them but I'll share them because there's a lot so you know um, that is my train of thought with these is for my my Etsy store my Etsy orders this is a little freebie, and I don't give little freebies all the time, and I don't give extras all the time, but sometimes I like to do that, and it's getting to be summertime, and I don't know about you, but I love a good book on my porch, or on the beach, or if you get some vacation time any place at all, um, it's just really nice to... A good book is just really nice if you are a reader and we might go and bomb the library with random bookmarks like people do by putting bookmarks scattering them around the throughout the books in the library okay that went on way crooked because I can't really can't really see like what where you are because <laughs> it's clear tape see so the packing tape works is it perfect no it is not perfect but are my bookmarks perfect no they are not perfect okay so that ladies and gentlemen is bookmark gluing okay now some of these i might not even glue that one is not that one is okay um and i might use my needle tip bottle and just put down some corners i just cleaned my whole craft space and i know that sounds like counterproductive but hear me out. I'm still a few weeks away from moving into my building. We're putting walls up now, and the walls are boards. I'm not putting up like pi uh, drywall or plywood. It's it's individual boards, so that's you know takes its time. And then I still have to figure out a floor. So I will be. You know, I'm still a few weeks out. I'm going to have to put a floor down. I wasn't going to. I was going to seal the floor that was th that's there. But this building is one of those, like, plywood built buildings, which is really, um, I don't know, it's really got me, you know, I, I paid a lot of money, and this is a garbage building, really. Um, this is just not a good experience buying this building. But I got to live with my decision. So, um... The floor is that it is like a particle wood, plywood, and I don't think I would be able to seal it up. I don't think I'd be able to seal it up good enough for a temperature controlled space. I think that it, a lot of moisture would get in, and I think that a lot of temperature would get out of the building. A lot of my AC or heat because I do have a heater. I bought what is called a mini split and it is like they have in hotel rooms. There is a machine outside of my building called a heat pump 
and what it does is when you turn the air conditioner on it blows cold air in and when you turn the heat on it blows hot air in and it does that with some special technology where in one you know in one direction it blows it sucks heat out or something I don't know it's just a it's a science <laughs> It's a sciencey thing, so yeah, that's um, you know, the heat pump situation. And I and I used my I had my air conditioning on for an, a period of time. Yesterday I had it on all day, and it was really nice. It worked wonderful. My only concern, which is me, not the heat pump, it's me and my you know delicate little fairy skin. I don't like the feeling of cold air blowing on me. And I, it blows out the bottom of the unit and I can adjust the way that the thing comes up and down to blow the air. So I might be able to adjust it. And I'm going to be putting a ceiling fan in there to distribute the air a little better. But, um, yeah, the cold air blowing on me is going to be a thing. Because I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And even the hot air in the summer, I mean in the winter, I don't like the hot air or the cold air. I just like to be in temperate air. Okay. I am just, you know, first world. First world problems. Just my bitchiness about temperature. And I've been that way my whole life with temperature. As a matter of fact, I lived without an air conditioner my whole life. You know, and I know a lot of us have, but I know a lot of us have not lived without an air conditioner. And I went without an air conditioner most of my life until when I was a child. My, I moved into a third floor apartment and we needed air conditioning on the third floor. That was... That was hot. And up north, there's no, there's none of these units like they have here that are heat and AC. Because a heat pump, it doesn't get hot enough for cold New England temperatures. Okay. It, it, the air gets hot. Okay. Um, but it doesn't keep up to a house. It doesn't even keep up very well to houses down here, and they don't even get as cold. So, yeah, it's, um, you know, it is, it is what it is. It can't be perfect. And I bought this unit on Amazon. So if you are looking for something like this, um, it can be for a garage, it can be for a part of your house it can be for um a building of some sort it, let me know and i will send you the link to these that i bought and i was given the recommendation from somebody who owns one and uses you know it's in his own shop building and um he does live in new england and it does work for that space does work very well for that space and it's a really cool unit it is just really cool it, you know it's it's got like this nice remote and I don't do Alexa but you can hook Alexa up to it I could have gotten a better model that I think I could have controlled it through my phone but I don't really do that I, I might be able to do that with this too I don't know I, I don't really do that I don't really control things with my phone. I've been thinking about getting some of those outlets, but I don't really, it's not, you know, it's not high on my priority list. And I don't do Alexa because she's always listening, you know, she's always in your business. She knows things. And I just don't like people knowing things. And I don't like robots knowing things. Speaking of which, did you hear about the CEO of Google or the head AI guy in Google? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a freaking 
he quit and now he's bitching about the serious dangers of AI and I mean I agree I am not for artificial intelligence I am not for robots taking our jobs I understand why I mean we're a bunch of whining sissies you know these people these days crying over everything in their jobs and nobody does a good job anymore but you know to replace it all with robots that's going to make us desperate. That's going to put us in a pickle. I'm telling you. And then I really think like it's going to be like that robot movie where they take over. The one with Will Smith. Mm-hmm. I bet you. I bet you a donut. So you don't need to watch me glue these. I just wanted to chat for a minute. But while I was cleaning, I had a whole bunch, and I mean a metric ton, of Junk Tilda stuff to add to my basket including some Happy Meal that I have gotten recently, so I might do some junk tilde -ing. Oh, one of my children is on a four-wheeler. So I'm going to do some junk tilde -ing and making some videos, and we can chat through those. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you um, try this. You know, I have a die that cuts bookmarks out, but there is just something about these paint swatches, and I use them for bookmarks all the time. All the time. They are my favorite bookmark material. So, yeah, you can laminate it with some packing tape. I'm doing things in, you know, bulk. So, it will take me a long time to do packing tape. I might, like I said, laminate some and not others. And I might just pull my laminator out and bang four or five bookmarks out in one sheet. Um, I haven't bought sheets for my laminator. If you have a sheet recommendation for a laminator, I would be more than happy to take a look at that because I just have the brand name. I don't know if it's Scotch who makes it or whoever. Um, you know, a 3M product. But yeah, if you have recommendations, throw them in the comments, y'all. Throw them in the comments. The Trolla, look at this. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they don't make sense. You know, my, my collage work is very nonsensical. Hold the phone. You know, so. If there's anything anyone can learn from my story, it's don't do just one thing. Don't put all your eggs into one basket. And look at what they did there. All the eggs are in one basket. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this chatty Gabby gluing taping session. And I will see you around. Ta-ta for now.